Hey everyone, so here's another detour from the Japan vlogs. Welcome to TwitchCon, a convention centering around the streaming platform Twitch where some of the biggest streamers, content creators, and their fans gather once a year to meet and mingle with each other. This was my first time heading to San Diego to attend this event, where I had an amazing time going around meeting some of my favorite streamers at the con. Enjoy! Alright, let's get this vlog started with the outfit of the day. Today I'm wearing my offline TV shirt I got from one of their pop-up events. You can't really see it because over the shirt, I'm wearing a Twitch hoodie that I won from a streamer photoshop contest. This is my first time wearing it since I was saving the hoodie for occasions like this. After spending a few hours getting ready, it is now time for the very long drive all the way to the convention center. I do live two hours away from San Diego, and when me and my family go on road trips to San Diego, the commute was decent with minimal traffic. The route today is the Interstate 5 freeway, passing by Fullerton, Anaheim, and Irvine. Then from there we pass by communities such as San Clemente and Carlsbad. This eventually leads all the way to downtown San Diego. I make it to the entrance of the convention center meeting my friends Uncle Eski and Matsu XL while heading inside to get my badge. Say hi! Oh. <laughs> as soon as I finish with the registration, I immediately rush through the exhibition hall to make it to the meet and greet area. Yeah, after meeting Eski in person, I basically booked it as I was running late to a scheduled meet and greet with Stella Chu and Julia Stunts, the first two content creators I met in person. Both of them were really nice and I even got some advice, especially from Stella when it came to cosplay. We finished our conversation with a little talk about Jujutsu Kaisen, and then I got a picture with them and their autographs before leaving. After the meet and greet, I spent some time at the exhibit hall in TwitchCon. There were definitely a lot of booths or exhibits related to video games and tech brands scattered everywhere, and some areas where attendees can try out games popular to streaming. We'll get back to the exhibit hall later, because I decided to head over to Artist Alley immediately, as there was another content creator there. Just like at Anime Expo, Artist Alley is a section of TwitchCon where many different artists take the opportunity to showcase their creative works that they either display or sell. This time, it is located on the second floor of the convention center at the sales pavilion. Surprisingly, Artist Alley here doesn't feel as packed compared to Anime Expos. There were a lot of people looking at what the booths were selling though. As I walk through Artist Alley, I bump into content creator Jessica Kim who is known for her fashion content on social media, as well as competitive gameplays of the first-person shooter game, Valorant, which she streams on Twitch. I head back to the exhibit hall where QT Cinderella is at the AT&T stage, doing a cake decorating challenge with Sandwich. I stay for a bit to watch before leaving, as I received a notification from a TwitchCon Discord channel I'm in, that a meet and greet for another well-known streamer was happening around the corner. But before I get into that, here's some footage of QT and Sandwich decorating their cakes. So you're gonna do the same thing on your middle and your top tier, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, Got so it. we're just gonna both get all of these covered. Okay, so I can do that now? Yep, you can move on and I will catch up, I'm sure. Alrighty. So we're also using the bag for the second one. Yeah, so you're gonna refill your bag. Yeah. Kind of going with like an avant-garde method. What does that mean? Kind of going for a off the wall, little crazy method. What does that mean? Being a little different. I'm not like other girls, you know. So, okay. On the way, I find another well-known streamer nearby the meet and greet. Mi Young, aka Katamina, was taking pictures with the fans, and I was fortunate enough to get a picture with her myself, as well as an autograph. But I guess side questing has its consequences because the lines of the meet and greet for the well-known streamer was super long. It was so long that I had someone I met in line save my spot so I can go to another meet and greet at the offline TV booth to kill some time. While waiting, I met Peter Park and got to be a part of his IRL stream, which was pretty awesome. Hey, 
And now for the big reveal who the well-known streamer is. Yep, it's Valkyrie. While so many people including me waited in line to meet her, it was absolutely worth it. I had a great conversation with her and she accidentally signed my badge, but that's okay because she also gave me a second autograph. I then head back to the offline TV booth, which was inspired by Family Mart, a well-known convenience store chain in Japan. There I was able to meet offline TV members disguised Toast, Sid Yon, and the person who got me into offline TV, Michael Reeves. Despite not being able to get a picture with John, aka Masayoshi, I was able to get his autograph along with the others on a shirt package I purchased earlier. It felt so good finally being able to meet some of the members of offline TV, and I hope to see all of them at next year's TwitchCon. I then head outside and after some running, I find the TwitchCon Discord group and take a group picture with them. I want to give a huge shout out to Blitzblade, the guy who coordinated the entire Discord channel for this year's TwitchCon, as well as the photographer who took the group picture. I'm really happy that I found this group and even though I didn't get to spend as much time with them, it was really nice sharing the small moment we had because we came together making the channel to help each other navigate the convention or connect with each other. As the old saying goes, teamwork makes dream work. I return back to Artist Alley where I stop by the Ebiko booth, meeting Starry Mew and I Gumdrop, who recognized me from Anime Expo. I had a nice chat with I Gumdrop and I got a picture with her before I went outside the convention center again. On the way outside, I bump into Sub Caitlin, another well known streamer. Going back to the place where I took pictures with the Discord group, me and some other attendees were waiting in line because streamer Catlins was giving away 100 free boba drinks, which I really needed. I need it. Considering the fact that I forgot to bring my water bottle and was thirsty as hell. So shout out to Catlin for taking the time to do this at TwitchCon. It was nice meeting her and her advice videos on how to become a better streamer were very helpful for my own channel. I then go back inside the convention center and watch another streamer, Tiongyi, performing for her fans. Once she was finished, I got the opportunity to chat and unintentionally stream sniper. I then go upstairs to meet Matsu XL for a photo shoot we arranged earlier. I really like some of these pictures he took of me. They look very professional, I'm glad I took some time to do it with him. I highly recommend Matsu XL for photos if any of you are looking for a photographer. I then head back to the exhibit hall where I head to the final meet and greet of the day at the at and stage, where streamers Imaru and Extra Emily were playing against their fans at Mario Party. I missed that opportunity to play with them but was able to get in line for their meet and greet afterwards. Cue this funny clip of Eski being the best hype man while I was waiting in line. Imaru and um, Extra Emily. Alright! <laughs> you guys excited? Everybody excited? Woo! Woo! I then got to meet Imaru and Extra Emily and got a picture with them and their autographs. I also got the sweet Polaroid which the organizers of the stage took during photos. With the convention slowly coming to an end for the day, I continue walking around the exhibition hall in Artist Alley, just to absorb more of what I missed while looking for famous content creators. Well that's all for today. Considering the fact that I only had a one day pass for TwitchCon, I had to make every second count as seen by this bag I carried around all day, containing the signatures of the many content creators I met and interacted with. So mission accomplished. I did wish I had a three day pass so I can have some time to meet some other content creators I really wanted to see in person, but I guess there's always a next time. I definitely had an amazing time at my first TwitchCon, and I don't think I'll ever forget the memories and friends I made along the way. Thank you all for watching today's video, and once again if you have some time, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more amazing content. This is Bodark signing off, have a good day.